What's up guys, this is Bull by the Fell Handed. Today we have some awesome footage from Keystone. He sent it to me via Bull by the Fell Handed on Facebook and you can too, so make sure to check that out. Now, today we have some fantastic KV-2 Tier 6 Pride of the Soviet Heavy Tanks. And let me tell you something, you run nothing but high X in this bad boy, you're going to get some interesting... <laughs> results okay so moving on we are on Westfield the greens have spawned in the southwestern corner and the reds have spawned in the northeastern corner a few different ways you can go on this particular map I would never recommend mid in a tank as slow as this mid is normally where your mediums are gonna go right around f6 get on the hill there kind of spot guys coming across you're either going to want to go left or right flank you push left you need to really get stuck in good around c1 b1 right in that area and if you push right you have to be very very cautious because if you push up too far just guys keep in mind that this thing is the tier 6 death star so people see it you are going to attract loads of fire from everywhere on the board if they see this bad boy now you know granted of course you can do a little sniping it's kind of like this guys it's six and one half dozen the other you know yes it would work well if you just get up in somebody's face fire some rounds off do things like that the downside is this tank doesn't really have the armor or the HP to survive that so you're kind of stuck between mid sniping long range doesn't necessarily work because of the accuracy so you have to keep that in mind. We've got a good little shot here. Not a whole lot. We went ahead and tapped in there. Took him down. Looks like about a third of the health there. So very, very successful. And we're getting assist damage, which is always, always, always a good thing in this game, especially if we are going for marks. Now, as you can see, the reds are starting to populate over there at the bridge right around F0. They're there. We just can't see them. Now, you know, honestly, you don't really want to be up much further than this. That way you can kind of support the mid there as well as the right flank. We've got good shots on a Hellcat right here, and as soon as we fired, he moved. And that's another thing you have to understand, guys, is the 152 is incredibly slow. So you need to be, you know, part expert gunner and part swami. You kind of have to predict where they are going to be. The big slow moving targets, of course, are the best. But if you're shooting any kind of hundreds of meters, you just need to realize it may happen, it may not. That's why the KV-2 is a really up close and personal tank. Now, I would recommend if you're going to be in a position where you put rounds on target, always make sure there's some cover you can duck behind or go near. Long range shot there at the side of the church, and it is good. We are making some things happen over here. Now, granted, of course, guys, we're not the tip of the spear. Does that mean we are playing a less important role? No. Support fire is just as just as important as tip of the spear fire, even more so. Because a lot of times, if you're tip of the spear, guys, you can't really do anything other than poke your head up and give some targets. So just keep that in mind. Now, you know, I also want to make sure that, that we are 100% you know certain that this is not camping we are at least 500 meters away from the cap so just keep that in mind I know some people do like to camp in their heavies I don't necessarily recommend it side shot into the Hellcat takes him for everything we are balling like the Lakers we're out here we're making it happen we're on top of the hill here we're just scoping people just taking our time and a lot of times guys if you would bend those greens in the forward position, and we were not in our position. The Hellcat would just kind of sashay up into the lines and put work in. Now, if you will see, we just got detected, and we are taking rounds like crazy. So we're going to back down the hill here. Don't really have depression to make anything happen. We're just going to wait until we break contact, and we're going to pull up, put some more rounds on target. We've got some good shots here. We're letting the reticle scope all the way in. Another kitty here. We're going to put a side shot in him. It looks like it just barely missed him. His death was literally riding on that shell. 
But, you know, we're still making things happen. We still have the gun running. We're doing everything right. You know, we're holding position. We're not letting the Reds advance. And we're taking shots as soon as the gun gets up. We've got a good long range shot here. And boom, we connect. Half health gone. And that's the story of the KB2 with the 152. If you connect with somebody, you are going to cause pain and heartache. That's the long and short of it. Now, granted, of course, with that accuracy and the shell velocity makes things like that problematic, but you know what? That's fine. We Looks like we don't have a shot here. Let's go ahead and scope back to the bridge because stuff is always going on on the bridge. We have another guy right here. Looks like in a Skoda trying to sneak. He realizes what's going on. He tries to pull out, and we manage just to clutch shot one and sneak one right into him. We have a Japanese Super Heavy right here underneath the bridge. Essentially, we are going to try to scope him as quick as we can. He's putting fire on us. We need to get rid of him before he sends us back to the garage. We're going to fire Hail Mary, and boom, it manages to connect, getting rid of him or moving him back to the garage with you and your Japanese ilk. Moving on. We don't have a whole lot going on as far as the Reds are. We're pretty much taking care of everything. We've got a really dicey shot at best right here. We're going to try to see if we can't throw one down range there and it just does not happen for us but you know what that's fine we got three kills a number of penetrations and some of those penetrations the target was destroyed so we're not really sure how much we have now we did make 38,000 silver which is very very good considering we shoot nothing but high x 2559 420 blocked 308 assists so overall 2800 and some change guys i really hope you enjoyed please remember to like subscribe and share and check the description box below